Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Becky Taylor. Well, welcome back. We've got mainly clear skies overhead as a cold front is kind of draped halfway across the area. So we're actually seeing much lighter winds behind that front where we're now uh, behind it for the moment in Holton. We are going to see that front kind of meander around today, but your winds have dropped back quite a bit. If you're still out ahead of that front, winds are out of the south and they are picking up this morning and they're going to stay fairly breezy until we can get that front to come through and shift our winds around. Here in Topeka, we've got calm winds too as that front is nearby. 37 degrees, feeling like 37. We don't have a wind chill to deal with, and the lack of wind is pretty nice <laughs> as you step outside currently, if you've got it. We do have that slightly br more breezy wind in places like Emporia, Burlington. Uh, we are going to continue to see our south winds kind of increasing across the area and kind of work their way up to the north just a little bit as that front kind of backtracks just a little bit uh, through the daytime hours. Now, wind speeds today, still pretty breezy, uh, about 15 to 20 miles per hour out of the south and southwest until we can get that front to arrive later this evening. That will drop our winds and they'll eventually become calm heading into early tomorrow, which is going to feel like a treat. I think as we close out the work week, we'll have decent temperatures, calm winds. It should feel pretty good outside. Right now, we've got much cooler numbers to the north and west at 30 degrees at Manhattan, 32 at Marysville, Concordia at 36. We're at 44, though, in Lawrence and 48 degrees in Emporia. Warm spot at 49 in Burlington, but Kansas City in the 50s still at 51 degrees. Now that cold front's going to kind of retreat just a little bit through the daytime and eventually start to push its way through later this afternoon and evening. So high temperatures today. We're going to make a run for the 60s in our far southeastern counties, and we may get above that by one or two degrees in a couple communities. But on the whole, I think most of us are going to get close to 50 degrees, if not into the mid 50s, maybe mid to upper 50s in Topeka, Manhattan and Junction City, maybe upper 40s to low 50s. Uh, the coolest spots will definitely be in the northwestern corner where we could be stuck in the upper 30s to low 40s through the daytime today. Now that cold front continues to sweep through, so we're all going to cool off tonight into the upper 20s, maybe some mid 20s in our north Northern counties. Tomorrow we have a really nice warm up, a nice rebound in our temperatures, mid to upper 40s, even some low 50s possible. And with that calm wind, that's going to feel really nice, I think. Satellite and radar, we've got a few passing clouds here, most of the rain and snow well off to our north and west, and that's where it's going to stay through much of the day today. You can see this dip in the jet stream here. This is that system we're dealing with today. And we're also watching one that's close on its heels. This is the one coming up for the weekend that's providing some pretty heavy rainfall across the West Coast today. We're going to continue to watch that as it makes its way to the east over the coming days too. Future track starts at 7 a.m. We should get some sunshine today, maybe some passing clouds as well uh, with this system nearby and certainly with that cold front over the top of some of us. But we could get clipped by a rain shower, maybe mixed in with a few snowflakes and cloud or Republic County today. Otherwise, we'll have the clouds through the afternoon and evening, maybe starting off the day with a a little bit of fog or low cloud cover across portions of the area tomorrow, but we'll end up with some sunshine. Uh, pleasant temperatures, I think, with those 40s to near 50 degrees. We have those 50s lingering through the weekend. 